Hi, I'm Shayna Lee, and I'm back with more sword. So in this class, I'm going to be teaching you about balancing the sword. Balancing is everything about a sword dance. You cannot do a sword dance and not balance. So you want to make sure you do a lot of practicing because it can be a little dangerous. So the most popular balance point is the head. So first I want to say something about my sword. If you look closely, you may see some grooves in the bottom of my sword. So what that does is it helps the sword stick to your head or wherever you may be balancing it. So let's go over how to balance the sword on your head. First you want to lift your chin a little bit so that your head is straight because the head always rises a little in the back. So you want to lift your chin to where your head is flat. And I suggest having a straight part in your hair because that helps the balancing. And you want to find those grooves in your sword, place them right on top of your head, right in the middle. And then you're going to kind of wiggle it around a little bit and then let go. So you see when I let go, the sword is tipping down. So I know to take it a little bit in the opposite direction until I have equal parts on both sides. So you want to just test it a little bit. So once you feel like you found a good balancing point, do a little bounce here. And if it doesn't fall any which way, then you have a good balance. So besides the chin being lifted, you want to slightly lift your chest. Tighten up your core and bring your arms out to your side in second position. And the knees are slightly bent. So from this position, you can add snake arms. So practice a couple snake arms. So you want to start with easy stuff first before you move into the harder stuff while balancing. Last one. And now try hip slides. Side to side. Remember, keeping your knees slightly bent and your chin lifted and the chest lifted. And last one. Let's try circles. So you want to make sure you're not moving your upper body or your head too much, otherwise the sword will fall. Take the hips the other direction. And last one. So now we're going to try a little hip shimmy. So starting with the knees small and going faster and faster. Remember, keep the knees slightly bent the whole time, that way your head is not bobbing up and down. Chest lifted, core tight, arms out, chin lifted. You want to try all of this while watching yourself in a mirror because that's the best way to see if your sword is wobbling. And last one. Good. So you can also do a lot of other things while balancing the sword on the head, but we're going to get into that later on. So the next balancing point is going to be your knee. That may seem a little weird, but once I show it to you, it won't be. So you're going to bend your knees. First of all, you have to have kind of good balance for this. So you want to practice your balance first before you use the sword, okay? So knees bent. Lift up whichever leg you're comfortable with. Point your foot and lift up your knee so that it's in height with your hip. Any lower, the sword will fall. Or up too high will be kind of too hard. So you're going to place it anywhere between your knee and your hip. Once you have a good balance with your sword, you are going to open your arms out to the side, keeping the knees slightly bent. Again with the snake arms. And shoulder shimmy. And wrist rolls. You don't want to do too much here because you will probably fall and we don't want to push our luck too much. So moving on. We can also use our shoulder. You want to make sure your hair is not in the way. For this, you're going to turn a little bit of a diagonal. That way people can see your sword. Straight on, it's almost invisible. So you want to turn. And you want to place the grooves of your sword, which is your balancing point, right on the top of your shoulder. This doesn't feel too good, but it's worth it. So again, making sure you have your balance. Pointing one foot forward. Chest slightly lifted, but not too much because then the sword will fall back. Core tight and arms out. So from here you can do belly rolls or lower body undulation, snake arms and wrist rolls. Again, you're still limited because the sword can fall pretty easily from this point. So you want to be careful with the moves that you choose to do depending on which balance point you have. Moving on. We can use our fingers. You can use two or three fingers. You want to start off with maybe even three or four fingers. So again, on the grooves, which is your balance point, and pointing one foot forward. This is a nice move to show off your sword to your audience if you are performing. 
And here you can do really pretty arm and hand movements as well as hip movements. This is a pretty easy balance point, so you might want to start off with the hands. You can also do double sword in this case and have one hand balancing one sword and maybe another one on your head or the other one in your hand. We'll get to that way later on. And we have our hip. So with the hip, again, at a diagonal, you're pointing your forward leg, knees are bent once again. And now here's where, where it helps to have a little bit of something here to act as a little shelf for your sword. So pushing the hip out and leaning your upper body away from the hip so that it can really stick out and act as a shelf for the sword. Again, the balance point where the grooves are, placing it right on top of that little hip there. Making sure you have a balance before you bring your arms out. Knees bent, again, leaning away from the hip. So we can do snake arms, wrist rolls, and we can even turn with the sword. So you can pivot your base foot around while pointing the opposite foot around in a circle. And this is a great move when you have an audience all around you. we have the chest. So you would probably be, be wearing a belly dance bra top, which helps act as a nice little shelf for the sword. Chest super lifted and resting the sword right there. And here you can do some stuff. This is more popular on the floor. So you might do this, uh, the chest balancing in your floor work. So we'll get to that later on. And the last thing is a back bend. Be careful with your back bends, that could be a little dangerous. But what you want to do is balance the sword right under the chest, so on the top of the stomach. So you want to point one foot forward and really bend those knees. Push the hips forward, start leaning back, and place the center of the sword on your chest. And here you can go down and do snake arms. But save that for later on because it is kind of tough. So now we're going to move on to turning with the sword. So stay tuned for the next class.